It's Tuesday, May 7th, 2024. Let's talk about the news. From the Associated Press, South and Southeast Asian countries cope with a weeks-long heat wave. Portions of Southeast and Southern Asia have been enshrouded in a heat wave for weeks, charting record high temperatures and disrupting everyday life throughout the region. Cambodia saw the hottest temperatures in 170 years, clocking 43 degrees Celsius, which is about 109 degrees Fahrenheit. Myanmar hit 48.2 degrees Celsius, which is 118.8 degrees Fahrenheit, and Thailand reached 40 degrees Celsius, 104 degrees Fahrenheit, though the heat index in these countries were all higher, taking into account heavy humidity levels. So in that latter case, the Thai capital Bangkok actually surpassed 50 degrees Celsius, which is 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Some of this heat wave is being attributed to the waning effects of El Nino on normal seasonal temperature changes, while the rest is being attributed to human-amplified climate change. From BBC News, three arrested and charged over Sikh activists' killing in Canada. Three Indian citizens have been arrested in Canada and charged with the assassination of a Canadian Sikh separatist leader on Canadian soil last June. The Sikh leader, Hardeep Singh Nijar, was shot by masked gunmen in Vancouver, and Canadian Prime Minister Trudeau publicly alleged that the Indian government may have been involved in the killing, based on intelligence they had received. But the Indian government said they had nothing to do with it, and counter-accused Canada of sheltering someone they consider to be a terrorist, because Najjar called for the formation of a breakaway Sikh nation in what is currently Indian territory. Diplomatic relations between Canada and India remain strained in the wake of these accusations and arrests. And from the New York Times, Israeli cabinet votes to shut down Al Jazeera's operations in the country. Following the passage of a law that allowed the temporary closing of foreign media outlets in the country last month, the Israeli government has ordered Qatar-based Al Jazeera to shut down its local operations and has seized some of its equipment. Al Jazeera is one of the most popular and well-regarded sources of news in the Arab world, and it's based in Qatar, where Hamas's leadership resides. Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu has accused Al Jazeera of highlighting the suffering of Gazans, which he has said incites violence against Israeli forces operating in the Strip, though evidence of this claim has not been made public. If you're finding some value in One Sentence News, consider leaving a quick review wherever you get your podcasts and or sharing the show with a friend. You can find out more about this show or subscribe to the email version at onesentencenews.com. And you can support this and other related projects like the Let's Know Things and Brain Lenses podcasts at understandery.com.